Okay, let's go back to uh, Mr. Joachim Bitterleg. Sir, if you can hear me clearly, in view of yes. what we have just seen, you know, as IDF has claimed that it has intercepted uh, rockets that were fired in the southern city of Siddharth, what do you see about the nature of the Iranian attack here? A lot was spoken about whether the attack is going to be direct or indirect. In view of what has happened recently, what would you speak about uh, the strategy that Iran is perhaps going to adopt from here on? As always, difficult to forecast what the Iranians will do. But up to now, they have, let's say, remaining always in certain limits. And these limits mean they do not act directly, but they act through proxies. And by the way, they know exactly, the Iranians, why the Israelis have been attacking the, the consulate in Damascus. They know it exactly, because these two generals were implied in the distribution of arms in Cisjordan land. And therefore, the Iranians know it. And I think they will continue to act by proxies and not, let's say, pass this limitation. And proxies means Gaza, proxies mean Hezbollah via Lebanon, proxies means uh, Houthis in Yemen. Mm -hmm. But the arm may be missiles or even drones. And therefore, I think the Israelis are well warned to be careful. I don't see a direct attack because the Iranians know exactly what would be the answer of Israel at the same moment. It would be the direct attack against nuclear uh, installations and armament installations in Iran. And the Israelis would be helped, for example, by another neighbor. When you talk about Indians in this context, uh, there is no direct attack against India. I don't see this. But on the other hand, don't exclude collateral damage. You never know. Okay. Sir, uh, also Joe Biden had said, to quote him here, that we are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. And this is among, uh, you know, tensions between, the diplomatic tensions between Netanyahu and Joe Biden in terms of uh, Netanyahu's latest attack uh, on Gaza. So what would you say will be the extent of United States' support to Israel, given uh, given the relationship between Netanyahu and Biden right now. Well, please take note. There are deep tensions between Joe Biden and Benjamin Netanyahu on Gaza, on the execution of Gaza, and even some well pe people knowing well the Israeli army are telling me that the Israeli army is attacking in Gaza against his own will. They would have done it in a totally different way. And therefore, Joe Biden is deeply criticizing this. But if there is an existential threat to Israel, Joe Biden will not hesitate for any second mm -hmm. to help to assist Israel with all the American means in the region. And please uh, be aware the Americans are not only present in Israel, they are in the Mediterranean space, they are in the Gulf of Oman, they are in uh, the Indian Ocean, they are at any place they are. And the, and the Iranians know this exactly. So according to sources, a defense official said that the Pentagon was, quote unquote, moving additional assets to the region to bolster regional deterrence efforts and increase force protection for U.S. forces and also to protect the Israeli forces. Uh, what can we speak about the extent of support that the U.S. is willing to provide to Israel here in terms of armaments and munition? I'm not the specialist to know exactly what are the exact armament, but the armament you need in this case are patriots. This is American, and the Americans can help in other fields with uh, certain other weapons that may reach even Iran, if necessary. Mm -hmm. It's a warning. You have heard Joe Biden telling this one word, warning to, to Iran, don't. This means don't attack. Mm -hmm. And I think this was, will be taken seriously in Iran. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Joachim Bitterlake, for joining us on the broadcast and giving us on your views on this very important subject.
and it's a pleasure as always. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.